Welcome back to another episode. I am again at the lovely Aqua Paradiso. I'm actually fishing alone, as you guys can see. Weather conditions a bit overcast. It actually rained last night, so temperature isn't too warm. You guys can see I'm in a hoodie. I've got five rods with me. I've got one with a swim bait. I've got one with a small deep diving crank crankbait. I've got a wacky rig with a weighted hook on it. Then I got a chatterbait, and then I just got a normal Texas rig rod, which is actually my spinning rod. I actually can see there are carp guys here there's one and then i think on the other side that really good spot where i caught that last fish if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out me and james we had a little bit of a competition and um it got quite heated right at the end but it was very very good fun so yeah um let's get into this video and i hope that you guys enjoy okay so i'm gonna throw my swim bait first it's actually a little join jointed swim bait uh, kind of bass imitating. Let's see what this guy swims like. Okay. had a follow on this on this little jointed swim bait. I'm throwing a wacky rig with a weighted hook. Kind of using it like a jig. Checking if these fish won't bite it at this dock. Color is this very natural color? So, as I said, throwing this stroke of chrome, actually throwing it on spinning gear, I've got a little bit of a lighter weight on the front. I think that was a bite. I think. Situation now. Like regardless okay so I think I've been fishing for about an hour I would actually like to get a full bag even if it's small or big fish regardless but um, I've been throwing uh, that little join jointed swim bait I have had quite a few follows with it but they've been really really small fish and then I've been throwing around that wacky rig obviously but I actually had a little bit of a weight on the front just to get it out there and maybe get it down to the correct depth very very quickly so yeah I'm uh, yeah I've just stopped here now just to update date you guys what I've been doing um, but yeah the sun is coming out Clouds are slowly blowing over. I can feel a little bit of wind picking up as well. 
so maybe uh, it'll push some oxygen into the water and get those fish a bit fired up hopefully i get that five fish that i actually want to get okay let's throw this this stroker crawl around a little bit Yes, first fish. It is small. But it's a fish, baby. On that watermelon juice. Stroke a crawl by six cents. Tiny little bass. It's a bigger fish. It's a good fish, I think. Yes, that's not a bad guy. On that little stroke of crawl. It's a bigger fish. Yes. Yes, right in the lip, basically. Yeah, boy. Cool. There we go. Oh, what a jump. Cool. Stroke a crawl, doing it for me now, hey? I haven't been that successful here the last couple of times we've been here. Like I say, maybe this entices just that huge bite that we've been looking for, you know? Oh yeah. No. Oh man. <sighs> Actually. Okay, another quick update. Uh, flown a stroke of crawl. I've actually caught two then i've also been throwing like a small little sw um join joint at swim swim bait and um i actually had a take i had a bite and uh, i don't know what happened i just lost the fish um but yeah it was pretty pretty unlucky but yeah otherwise uh, having a good time out here i'm actually in the back pocket so i'm actually in the back side of the dam that you guys can see it is actually 10.30 now. I think I've been fishing for about two hours. But yeah, let's uh, carry on. Check this koi, guys. <laughs> and now I'm throwing an underspin.
Oh yeah, on the underspin. Man, that's not a bad guy. Six cents underspin, baby. Hammered it. Yes. Six cents underspin with the van swim, swim jig, hey? Oh, nice. Okay, that's three fish for me, four fish for me now. It's not a bad guy though, hey? That's not a bad size fish. Look at that guy. Yes. I honestly don't know if I like this, um, this underspin. Honestly, it just doesn't swim nicely. Like at all. Yeah, and another one. Took me a while to figure it out. Yes, and another underspin bass. Yes, they're chomping it. Yeah. Underspin by six cents, divine, divine swim, swim baits. Very nice, very a nice, healthy fish. There we go. Wow, I'm quite surprised now. All of a sudden, I think I might have found out some sort of pattern. But it's all small fish, it's nothing major, and they're attacking it. Yes! Underspin, baby. Yeah, well, they're wanting it, eh? They are mungering it now. Yes. Yes, baby. Underspin it is. Yes. That is really cool, man. I like it when I, I figure out a pattern. That actually works. Yes. Two in a row. And this is a good one. Good this is actually a good fish. In the boat, baby. Yes, another fish. Yes, here yeah, they are. Jumping, jumping. This underspin. Yes. Underspin. Oh, yeah. Like they're not massive, but. Another one, small, man, they are enjoying that underspin. No. Yeah, so I lost my underspin. We casted it and it just snapped off my line, which is a pity. But luckily I've got some more. Um, I've actually got those Zona ones now. 
well, I'm busy using that owner underspin. But uh, yeah, that underspin is gone. Put on an owner underspin with a saucy swimmer by Guggen, by Guggen Squad. I'm not too sure what the color is, but I'll link it down, down below. And I'll also link down below that underspin uh, from Six Sense and that Divine Swim, swim Baits from Six Sense as well. If you guys are, are wanting to buy them, give them a go. I'm gonna carry on fishing. Guys, I caught one. Sorry about that off camera. Again on that underspin with that little saucy swimmer with that owner hook. It's actually a weedless hook, but yeah, that's it. Hectic. I'm really happy. Let's put it back. Yeah, feisty. Jesus, oh, absolutely hammered that. I was running it in. I was just reeling it. That's a big boy. That's a good fish. <laughs> I'm recording, yes. Oh. Skinny fish, eh? Skinny fish, but nice and big fish. Yes. Biggest of the day, by far. I reckon about a kilo, eh? Yes. Okay, let's release her. That's quite a big one. I'm actually quite happy with that. Thank you very much. Ooh. That would have been funny, last cast. Okay, I am officially finished with fishing today. I have had enough. Um, I've been here since I would say about nine o'clock. It is now half past three. Um, I could most probably fish for a lot longer, but I am absolutely knackered. I'm tired. I am very, very thirsty. I actually forgot to buy water. So yes, I'm very thirsty. I need to go home now. Maybe just uh, lie on the couch a little bit and chill. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. Like always, hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button as always. Leave comments down below if you guys enjoy this type of content. If you guys enjoy me going out fishing. Maybe you guys want to see me talking to the camera, talking technical about baits. Leave it in the comments. And as always, I'll check you guys on another episode of Bassing with Sasha.